and welcome back to HHS Today. I'm your host, Grace Pruker. And I'm your host, Morgan Berenson. And today we have some fantastic stuff to show you. First, let's start with an interview from Jordan and Kyler. Hola, um, my name is Senora Ronquez and I teach Spanish here at Hopkinton High School. Um, originally, well, if I tell you the whole story, I was born in New York but raised uh, in Puerto Rico. Uh, I've been a teacher for my entire uh, life career, uh, so I haven't done anything else besides that. I did take a break for four years, um, which my husband and I, we took uh, an adventure and we opened our own restaurant. I think my role model is my mom. Um, she was a very strong woman. Um, she was very friendly and loved by everybody, so I take upon her and her bubbliness and her happiness. So. Wow, you learn something new every day, right? I guess so, and now we have Jack talking to us about a useful app called Photomath. Hi, I'm Jack Dolsky, and today we'll be reviewing a revolutionary app that I think every high schooler should have, Photomath. Photomath can solve practically any equation other than word problems, from trigonometry to graphing to finding the value of x. Here's an example. As you can see, Photomath is a pretty cool app that I think you should have. Back to the anchor desk. I never knew that existed, but I know how I'm doing my math homework tonight. Me too. It'll save me so much time. Next up, we have Lexi bringing us an interview with Mr. Hooker. My name is Michael Hooker. I'm a wellness teacher here at Hopkinton High School. This is my 17th year teaching at Hopkinton. It's my 22nd year teaching overall. I actually did not go to school for education. I went to school for exercise sciences and I worked in, in that field for uh, six years. Um, I never wanted, never thought I wanted to be a teacher. I had a guidance counselor when I was a senior in high school tell me I would be a good teacher and I told him uh, I would, there's no way in heck I would ever be a, a teacher and um, as I, I started teaching a couple classes at the college level I found I really enjoyed teaching and I just happened to to get a job in, in public, public schools. I would probably go back into the field of uh, exercise science. I was a strength and conditioning coach for, for six, six years prior to teaching. I went to Springfield College for my bachelor's degree and I went to the University of Connecticut for my master's degree. I like to play golf, I like to ski. Uh, in the summertime, I love going to the beach with my family. Wow, that's a hard question. I don't know. It, it, we've got a great thing going here. I'm going to say nothing. A Starbucks in the building would make it better. Oh, that's easy. I, I was teaching in an, another school system, and uh, my first boss, who's a, a good friend of mine, uh, took the job as wellness coordinator, and she called me the next year in 2002 and told me she had an opening here, and I came and checked it out, and I loved everything about it, and the rest is history. I never knew any of that about Mr. Hooker. Yeah, you learn, learn something new every day, right? I know. Took the words right out of my mouth. Next, we asked you guys to give us your best advice for middle schoolers. Hey guys, welcome back to question of the day. Today's question is, what advice would you give middle schoolers about high school? When you come to the high school, you should join some clubs and activities and stuff. It's really fun. Don't, Don't overthink, overthink it. it. <laughs> uh, I learned that you should always state your opinion. Don't be uh, nervous. Don't be nervous. Actually start to study. Work hard and get involved. High school will be sometimes more harder. Don't walk on the wrong side of the hallway. Study for tests. Work hard and play hard, but most importantly, work smart and play smart. My advice to middle schoolers is to enjoy your freshman year. It's the easiest year by far and just to enjoy it. Have fun, because time flies. What's your best piece of advice? I'm not sure, let me think. Okay, time's up. Moving on, it's our very last Have You Seen This of the year. Make sure to keep alert and send us an email at hhs.tv at hillers.org for a chance to win a prize. And also, don't forget to check out our online-only content at hhs.today. See you next time.